We have numerous teachers who have learned English to a really, really high level, at least at the very least 30 minutes every day. Not many people speak Russian in the UK. We even had to do essays in English, which is... Hello guys, my name is Benjamin. I'm from London and I work here at the Big Apple School in Novosibirsk. And today I'm going to talk about learning languages at university. So guys, давайте начнем. So I studied a really interesting degree. It was Russian and Italian. And I went to this really nice university in Bristol. So it's called the University of Bristol, which is in the southwest of England. And I really enjoyed my degree. However, to be honest with you, I left, I graduated with a good grade, of course, but my Russian really wasn't that good after I graduated. This is not because the teachers or the professors were bad people. It was or that they were incapable of teaching. It was just that I didn't have that much time with the language itself. So on average, I would have about seven hours a week with the professors. So really, I didn't get that practice that you would need, that a language requires when learning any language, of course. If you want to learn a language, you need to spend at least, at the very least, one hour a day with the language itself. If you're at university and you are, I don't know, hanging out with friends, and that's all fine, you're just not going to give that attention to the language that it needs. I graduated, like I said, in Italian and Russian, and my Italian was actually quite good after university. That's because I had a lot of practice with Italian. I knew a lot of Italian people. Whereas with Russian, it's kind of hard to come by in the UK. Not many people speak Russian in, in the UK, whereas there are lots of Italians in the UK. So naturally I had more practice in that language. So how does this apply to you and your English? Well you need to make sure that you have at least, at the very least, 30 minutes every day with English. Whether that is by watching movies, or whether that's speaking to people on the internet, it doesn't matter, you just need those hours every single day. At university, if you're thinking of studying English at university, the first thing you need to think of is, how many hours of tuition am I going to have at this university? Here at the Big Apple School, we have numerous teachers who have learned English to a really, really high level. That's because at their universities, they spend hours and hours and hours with their teachers. If you're going to apply for a course and it says, oh, night, night lessons twice a week, I would not spend your money on those courses because you're not really going to have those hours with the language. Of course, you can come here to the Big Apple School, of course, and we can happily speak to you. We have a speaking club. We have, of course, individual lessons, group lessons. That way you can get as many hours as you need in a way that suits your schedule. But with regards to university, you need to make sure that a certain degree has a lot of tuition hours and that it doesn't focus too much on units in your native language. For instance, when I studied Russian at university, I learned a lot of interesting things about Russia's history and about Dostoevsky, etc. But this was all in English. And I even had to do essays in English, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. You should graduate from university having a high degree of fluency in a degree. So guys, we want to hear your thoughts. If you think that, if you went to a good university, let us know, we want to hear your thoughts about it. and. Let us know what your language learning schedule is like every single day. Do you have many hours of the language? So that's it for today. We'll see you next time, guys.